Hi there, Simon from simonwood at job.com. Uh, I have two French sparkling wines next to me, uh, two pink French sparkling wines. One's a champagne, but the first one isn't a champagne. Uh, this is La Chateau, uh, Crémant de Loire, Brut Rosé. Uh, has it got a vintage on? I can't see a vintage on. I'm presuming it's going to be made, um, well, probably Cabernet Franc, maybe some other things in there too, but uh, hopefully, oh dear, it's being a bit frothy. I'll have to... Uh, no, not too frothy. I'll, I'll tell you what, I've got one of these. I'll shove this back in and uh, keep it all contained. You'll be able to find out what's in it. Uh, there'll be some links somewhere below, uh, either the work with YouTube or the other bit. Back in a moment. Well, I don't know if you can see against the uh, colour of my uh, uh, slightly, probably too purple shirt, uh, the slight difference in colour. The, uh, uh, the champagne's a bit pale. This one's got more of a orangey smoked salmon type of hint of... Uh, um, of appearance to it and smell wise it's got um, it feels like it's going to be quite young vibrant fruity a little bit of red fruit uh, um, I, I'm, I'm expecting the champagne to be a little bit more, more subtle and toasty this one smells like it's all about bounce, 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 bounce and youthful exuberance mm, good but not great there's a uh, uh, a rich element um, with a little bit of um, creamy yeasty character some of this red fruit, but there's almost like a slight foddiness to the finish. It's almost a bit too, um, uh, a bit too broad shouldered. And um, yeah, I want a little bit more finesse in my sparkling wine. It's okay. Uh, and I'm tasting it out of a cool cellar. One of those wines that I would probably think I'd serve quite well chilled because as it starts to warm up, maybe it's just getting a little bit too fat. Anytime I see a, sign, a wine that says serve very well chilled, usually means doesn't taste great at room temperature. I'm not saying it doesn't taste great, but it doesn't taste great. I'm not saying it doesn't taste good, um, but um, it's not uh, immensely classy. I'll just put it that way. Let's see whether the champagne is immensely classy. Uh, it is Champagne Grémier Rosé Brut. It's got five stars on the front. Uh, I don't know whether that's from Amazon, uh, but I don't think it is. But uh, anyway, um, uh, have we got any notes on what's in it here? No. Okay, let's just give it a whirl. Well, it smells like it's going to have a lot more, um, yeah, finesse. Um, touch of spice, almost, it seems to it. Um, there's this uh, slightly yeasty character there. Um, subtle fruits here, whereas the, the, the previous one was a, a bit sort of slightly, here I am. Um, and here, yeah, it just feels like it's going to be a gentler but more persistent wine. And it's strange, this almost is, has got quite a, the, the same fullness of body that the, um, uh, that the Loire one did. Did but it seems to have got greater um, greater bounce vitality. Uh, there's a more sprightly edge to the fruit, more citrus edges here, uh, more of this toasty uh, edge, but also yeah, this is, I think precision is the word that uh, that uh, I keep coming back to. Um, it's a uh, yeah finer higher higher cheekbones if you want to call it that. So it is more expensive. I think there's uh, this is twenty five pounds and the other one's um, fifteen. So ten pound difference. But uh, to me. Uh, worth paying the extra because you do get a rather, yeah, quite a big step up in quality. First one, okay. Second one, thumbs up. That's two thumbs. I only did one. Two thumbs right up. See you soon.